It's pretty cold out in Catopia today, minus 10 with the wind chill. Not quite ready for that, so we're, we're filming indoors today. Uh, th so this brings us to chapter 20, um, in which Miss Pratt reappears. She was a character back to chapter 5, I believe. She's based on a real person um, who did have a pregnant cat that, uh, for whatever reason, only was able to deliver one naturally. Um, so we did have to deliver the remaining kittens via C-section. And invariably, emergencies, like a C-section, never happen during work hours. They always happen just minutes before closing at the end of an excruciatingly busy day. Um, one of the things I find fascinating as a writer and as a person is behavior, whether it's human behavior or animal behavior. And I like to put my characters in situations that um, they might find a little bit uncomfortable based on their normal behavior. So I have Miss Pratt, who is a little bit of an uptight, but very intelligent and uh, hardworking person um, in close proximity to a rather goofy dullard of a nephew. Uh, we have Jesus, who is a very capable, intelligent um, businessman, entrepreneur, um, put him face to face with his uh, high school teacher and he kind of wilts. <laughs> And then we have Emily, who mostly through the book you see as a hardworking, um, dedicated veterinarian with not much of a social life. And she goes to a wedding in her Tweety and Sylvester scrubs. So these all make for interesting little twists in the plot. As I said to my husband the other day, you know, there's a lot of crazy people out there, but if they're good to animals, then they're okay in my books. So from Catopia, over and out, we'll see you next week. <laughs>